I kicked out my nieces after they hid my wife's wig. She has cancer. Am I the a-hole? Okay, OP. This is OK, OP. I'm Samuel Donner. And I'm John Fry. And we're flying 400 miles above the center of the earth. And we tell the funniest stories on the internet. This is your OK, OP captain speaking. I was making airplane sounds. I like those airplane sounds. It was great. John, what are your opinions of like toupees and wigs? Toupees and wigs? Uh, if you need them, use them. I would say that. Actually, I will say uh, if you're a man going bald, just uh, just go for it. You know, just own just it. for your uh, and we're talking like standard. Uh, what do they call it? Male pattern baldness. I don't know why yeah. pattern is in there. But uh, if, if that, you know, because eh. it's creating a pattern like like we don't have any pattern. Oh. It's just completely, completely there. Right. But you got you got your you got this kind of pattern. Right. You got this pattern. Yeah, you got you got that coming from like you got the coming from the the top of the hairline. You got coming from the back of the head. Right. All these fun little patterns. Interesting. I I learned something new today. Yes. Yes, we do. But, you know, some people need wigs. This is true. um, Or want them. And you know what? If it's not hurting anyone, you lose a wig. If you're not like give it to yourself, you're not taking the, the hair off a baby seal, then use a wig. That would be a lot. Take it like I feel like seals have no hair, so that would be like the most inefficient wig creation process ever. Well, like what if it's like a short wig? You know, they have like some hair, like the but the short, uh, but it's like you know, like a spiky hair wig. Yeah, it, it would it would have it would be like two thousands Justin Timberlake, but wisps. Bro, I was literally thinking to that. I didn't say it, but I was literally thinking two thousands Justin Timberlake. Yeah, that's hilarious. That wow. Guys, we are slowly but surely melding into one person. Hive mind. Okay. I kicked out my nieces after they hid my wife's wig. She has cancer. Am I the a-hole? You know, might be going out on a limb here, but I would say no, but I guess we'll hear the story and see what happens. Well, here. First off, I want to start by mentioning that my wife has cancer. She unfortunately started losing her hair due to chemotherapy, and she's been incredibly insecure about it, her lack of hair in particular. She got a wig and started wearing it. I don't mind it. I 100% support her since she only wears it around family and friends. Is that like, it's like, if I, if you wore it. <laughs> yeah, wore it outside. If you wore it outside of family and friends, I wouldn't support it. Like, what would that do? <laughs> yeah, it's a wig. You can wear a wig, yeah. bro. My sister lost her apartment after a messy divorce and moved in with her twin daughters, 16, almost a month ago. Wait, she moved in with her twin daughters? Do they have their own house? I, it sounds like they lost the apartment they were living in. Wait, my sister lost her apartment after a messy divorce and moved in with her twin daughters? Mo- no, no, no. Moved into her house with her twin daughters. Into OP's oh, house. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. That makes sense. That makes sense. My sister lost her apartment after a messy divorce and moved in with her twin daughters, 16, almost a month ago. So moved into Opie's house. Things were going well, except my niece's constant remarks about my wife's wig. They got so hung up on it and kept asking lots of questions about it. They asked to take turns trying it on, suggested they straighten it with a straightener and so on, which was exhausting. They even pressured to see her without it, but my wife was uncomfortable and refused. Like how brain dead and just stupid and just all of the negative things can you be to like ask someone that yeah let me see your bald head like bro like she's wearing a wig for a reason come on it's mind-boggling mind-boggling yesterday i got home and found that my wife was locking herself in the bedroom crying I asked what happened. She told me she woke up and didn't find her wig, then discovered my nieces took it and hid it, then urged her to come out so they could see her without it. What the? Come on. Brick frack. What? Bro. That's so mean. She obviously is uncomfortable without it. Like, and like, I mean, you shouldn't do that to anyone, period, but like, she has cancer. She has cancer. And this is your literal aunt. Like, like ridiculous. Oh, my wife repeatedly asked them to give it back, but they started laughing and recording. My wife, my wife had to lock the door and keep a distance because they didn't stop. I was fuming. I went into the kitchen and confronted them. They acted confused, but I was able to get the wig back. 
I lashed out telling them they humiliated my wife and embarrassed her by taking away her wig. Yeah. Damn straight. Yeah. They said it was just a lighthearted prank, which made me go off on them. My sister got involved and said my wife was being too sensitive and the girls were curious to see her without a wig, but she overreacted, which is just like, oh, kids will be kids, but these kids are fucking 16. Yeah. If this was like a two year old that like took the wig and wouldn't get like, that's one thing, but like these are two, you so beyond no better. Like, oh my God. I lost it on her too and told her she and my nieces were no longer welcome to stay at my home and they needed to leave. Yeah. I later let them know about the eviction since they thought I wasn't serious and they started crying, begging that I let it go. But my wife was no longer comfortable around them after what they did. My sister called our elderly dad and begged that I let them stay and insisted my nieces were just acting like typical teenagers. He offered to speak to my wife, but I declined. They've been begging that I change my mind, but I won't. Am I the a-hole? Let's sing it together, Samuel. No. No. Beautiful. Yeah. Get us Could- on the barbershop quartet. Come on. Yeah. Wait, what? Barbershop quartet. Oh, yeah. The mustaches. Oh, what's the one they all, uh, uh, Mr. Sandman. Bring, Bring me, me a drink. Yeah, we we're ready. We're ready for the barbershop days. But this is just ridi- like a flat yeah. out no. Like if your if your daughters literally uh, just play this cruel prank on your wife, I mean it's your house. You can do whatever you want for real. Yeah, because because think about it too. Not only did this all transpire and whatnot, but like Op did not have to bring them in to his house. Like yeah, it's good too you know if you have family that's down here to luck and yeah i mean he's uh, extending them kindness kindness, but it's like it's kind of like oh it's not in op's like ballpark anymore it's his wife is uncomfortable now so it's it's not like he really has a choice yeah you know like like it's like it's kind of like does he choose his wife or does he choose these terrible teenagers and i think the choice is pretty obvious oh yeah but you know what other choice is pretty obvious Ooh, tell me Subscribing to OKOP on YouTube, following us on TikTok and Spotify. And if you want to be a real one, join our Discord and uh, support us on Patreon. That's right. And you can chat with Ariel, Casey, Zephorius, Davine, Muhammad, Amanda, Will, Connor, Desiree, Keegan, Simmons, and Kathy Quigley. I almost made it. And you can also chat with us. So see you then. Yes, you can. Peace. See ya.